Howdy, partner. Today I have joined forces with other whiskey tubers to try to find the best Texas whiskey, period. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So this is round four. Um, I've been going through these flights with some other channels on YouTube. Uh, so those channels are uh, Old Fashioned Ways, uh, the, the Whiskey Shaman, and the Bourbon Jerk. And what we've been doing is we've been trying to find the best Texas whiskey, period. And so if you would like to go check out their flights, so their round four will have the same whiskeys I do. Um, we sent each other samples. Then I had my wife create a randomizer and we've had somebody else pour for us so we don't know what we're drinking it's completely blind semi double blind because we each know four of the whiskeys in the flight because we each put in four but we don't know what any of the other 12 are they could be anything so uh, it's a almost a full double blind but i could have a whiskey in here that i own but i might not they might have already all gone through who knows um but yeah if you guys could do me a favor before we get started and hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and today I'm going to highlight the Bourbon Jerk a little bit. So if you've never seen his channel, he does some really good work with shorts. Love his short reviews. And uh, he also just has just generally great content. Well, um, well produced content. I really appreciate seeing a YouTube channel with such high production value. Um, something that maybe I don't have as much of. I just talk about good whiskey and I think that I keep you guys coming back because I'm funny to look at or something. I don't know. But his stuff is really well produced. Anyway, let's go into glass one. Or I guess glass... Yeah, glass 13 out of 16. Whew, this is funky. This is like Garrison Brothers funk. It is pretty dark. I'm not doing bottle guessing, but if I come across something that I think is something, I gotta tell you. Otherwise, I'm being dishonest. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, it's like caramel, uh, chocolatey, and that, that like, hay, funky, barnyard thing. I know, I know I said I'm not doing any bottle guessing, but I think that's Balmaria. Anyway. I know, I, I often look like a liar, but what I'm trying to tell you is if I think something, something I have to tell you. Oh, I didn't give you any tasting notes. Anyway, it's really chocolatey. It's really brown sugar forward. It's really sweet, and uh, uh, but it's got like, it's, it, it's, it's like two different worlds because it's like, it's like delicate on the finish that goes on for a long time, but on the palate, it's like, it's like full and rich and, and, and creamy. And it's, it, I love this whiskey, whatever this is. Very good. Different nose over here. This is more like rice spicy. Cinnamon, brown sugar type vibes. Or cinnamon, uh, not brown sugar, sorry. Like cinnamon and uh, fall spice type vibes. Yeah, not as sweet as the first one was on the nose. I believe that's a rye. Um, it's hotter than the first glass. Um, really, really nice finish. Long lasting finish. A lot of rice spice. A little bit of a um, black pepper thing. Tinging, uh, singeing the tip of my tongue a little bit with the heat. I love that. Um, cloves. Uh, clove heavy. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good too. I have, there hasn't been one bad whiskey in this flight so far. So if you are not a Texas whiskey fan, look for some of these brands because there is, I swear, there's not been one bad whiskey in this entire tournament. We gave our best. So we each sent over our four best, what we think is our four best anyway. I, I, I had a hard time picking because I have about eight banger Texas whiskeys. So now this is like vanilla cream, like. This is a, yeah, like buttercream frosting. Something a little bit briny as well. This is a wild one. Man, this almost doesn't smell like whiskey. It's so wild. Maybe finished.
That is citrusy. Like that is orange peel for days. That is lemon zest. That is... Wow. Honey. Lots of honey. Um, I feel like this comes in a container shaped like a bear. It's a little tiny bit of a young grainy thing, but it's not heavy. Um, that's really good. That oh, there's some chocolate coming through so on the on the end of the palette on the finish. There's dark chocolate. That is that is really good. I think that beats two. I don't know if it beats one. Now this is funky, and this is a dark one too. This is a uh, real dark. I don't know if you guys can see how dork it is, but it's dork. <sighs> yeah, like plums. Cinnamon. A little bit of like, like maybe grape must type vibes. Oh, that's good. That's molassesy, brown sugar, cinnamon type vibes. A little bit, yeah, the date thing that I was saying on the nose. Uh, like pl the plum and date, like the dark fruits comes through on the palate as well. And uh, they really carry into the finish. This is like a, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had these. My grandma used to make them when I was a kid. They're uh, called date pinwheel cookies. That's reminding me of date pinwheel cookies. This is taking me back to my childhood. And my grandma just made fresh cookies. That that memory right here might make this one the winner. I don't know. We'll see. I got to go back through these again. When we come back, I'll tell you which is my favorite. <sighs> this is really hard. That's what she said. Um, man, I'm telling you right now, this was one of the harder flights I've done in a while. I don't have a winner yet. I don't. Normally when I come back, I have a consensus, but I'm still kind of trying to process all this. Um, this one has actually performed worse the second time through. It is still a really good whiskey. I just feel like I'm, these three are jiving with me more. It's a little bit too funky barnyard when compared to these. Don't get me wrong. I like that Garrison Brothers. Well, I think this is Garrison Brothers. It might not even be Garrison Brothers. Anyway, I like that funky barnyard thing, um, you know, but it does, I don't feel like it's blinding well against these other three other whiskeys. I just feel like these are doing well. The first time through, I said, this is really good, but I don't know if I like it as much as A. And right now I'm debating on whether or not I want to make it my winner because I like it so much. So that's another thing that happens when you're doing blinds like this. The second time through, Things can really change because this is just delicious. This is this is really excellent. This one here, and I don't think it's a rye either. I initially said it was a rye. It definitely still gives me like rye spice vibe. So like it's a, maybe like a high rye bourbon, but I don't I don't necessarily think that's a rye. I often say if I have a doubt, I should pick the one that I finished first. But maybe my wife just poured me slightly less of this one. I don't know. But this is really good. I, I think this is probably going to take second place. I'm putting them in reverse order. First place, second place, third place, fourth, fourth place. I don't know. Do I do this often? I don't feel like I do. But I have picked the later glasses in this tournament. Maybe we need to, is there any super fans out there that want to go back and watch all my videos and find out if I have a favorite, uh, you know, glass number on one to four, how often I pick glass four? I'm very curious if there's some mental uh, things going on here, because where you order a flight can really matter. Uh, you know, how you order a flight can really matter. Anyway, drinking buddies, I really appreciate all of you. This has been a really fun tournament. We are going to finish this thing off in some sort of live stream. I'm not sure if that'll be on my channel or their channel or, um, you know, um, you know, anything like that. But uh, 
We are going to do this on a live stream of to the finals. We're going to we're going to you know finish this thing off in a live stream. I don't know if this will be on my channel or on one of their channels. Probably on mine since I have the bigger following, so it'll bring more eyes to it. But uh, maybe we'll draw out of a hat or something, and we'll do it on their channel so that it helps one of those smaller channels out. Uh, I, I would like to see that happen because I want to help out the smaller channels. But if they want to see it go to a bigger audience, I get that. I do have a bigger following. Uh, anyway, not trying to inflate my head here. I, I, do, I don't. I'm not a big YouTuber. I just be. I'm slightly bigger than these guys. Um, anyway, if you have time, please go check out the Bourbon Jerk the whiskey shaman and old-fashioned ways i'll link their channels in the description and they have done the exact same flight so if you go and watch their video you will see them drink exactly these four whiskeys very curious what I, what they say about them do we have any similar tasting notes do we have anything that you know we say maybe one of them had uh, this whiskey that i put ranked as my number one they taste it and they're like this is disgusting i borderline want to pour this out that could happen Whiskey opinions are opinions. That's one thing that, that kind of gets lost in the shuffle sometimes is this is all subjective. So anyway, I think I'm rambling at this point. Thank you so much for watching. Every time you guys like the video, every time you guys subscribe to the channel, you make this thing possible. I could not do this without you. And especially my channel members, want to give a huge shout out to them. I really appreciate all of them. They have been just so awesome to me by helping me out financially with just a couple bucks a month. Um, the YouTube, Ad rates are very all over the map and just like a couple bucks a month from them really helps keep this channel going. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, chink. Anyway, drinking buddies, thanks for watching. Cheers. Uh -huh.